What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new documentary feature, Breaking Boundaries, The Science of Our Planet. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Do you remember last year's David Attenborough documentary, A Life on Our Planet? You know, if we don't change our ways, Mother Planet might shake us off. And soon enough, apocalyptic places like today's Chernobyl might become a reality all over the world. Well, so think of this one, Breaking Boundaries, as some sort of a spiritual sequel to a life on our planet. This docu dedicates its entire self to informing you of the cause and the dangers and also what can be done to reverse the impact of climate change. Chatting with a man who lives and breathes this particular topic and he preaches it like there's no tomorrow because in our lifetime, that is a distinct possibility. Breaking Boundaries, The Science of Our Planet is a 75-minute documentary directed by John Clay and narrated by Sir David Attenborough and produced by Silverback Films, the team behind Our Planet series and Attenborough's A Life on Our Planet. Breaking Boundaries follows the scientific journey of world-renowned scientist Professor Johann Rockström. It tells the story of the most important scientific discovery of our time, that humanity has pushed Earth beyond the boundaries that have kept Earth stable for 10,000 years since the dawn of civilization. The film takes you, the audience, on a journey of discovery of the nine planetary boundaries we must maintain, not just for the stability of our planet, but also for the future of humanity. It offers up the solutions we can and must put in place now if we are to protect Earth's life support system. As you're watching this docu, if you're wondering why it is seemingly full of fear-mongering, well, it is not so much as fear-mongering as it is merely stating what Al Gore would call it an inconvenient truth. Humans generally don't want to hear bad news. And on top of that, humans generally only care about things that directly affect them and their immediate families. Every Earth Day, there will be this conservation documentary usually released by Disney Nature, for example. And while that's all nice and dandy, they hardly move the needle. The next day, people return to forgetting all about it again because it doesn't really sink in. Clearly, that approach doesn't work. So maybe breaking boundaries will, perhaps, a healthy dose of fear to get us to stop feeling complacent is exactly what we need. In a way, this docu is a summation or a compilation of every single facet through which we are hurting our planet. At one point, they even talk about coral bleach and overfishing, both of which were previously and extensively discussed in the chilling documentary Sea Spiracy. Breaking Boundaries director John Clay and his team came up with these helpful and understandable graphics and animations that illustrate the nine danger zones. It's clear, it's to the point, even fifth graders can easily pick that up. The whole thing is like climate change graphics in layman's terms. The talking heads are mostly the professor and his fellow scientists who have been tracking the devastations of climate change. David Attenborough doesn't dominate the topic like he usually does. Here, in this one, he is more of a guide who comes in every now and then only to re-emphasize things a little further. I want to be hopeful. I want to be optimistic. But fact of the matter is, people who are going to be moved by this docu are people like you and me, people who don't have power. Meanwhile, our world leaders are in the pockets of fossil fuel. And like I said earlier, they don't care unless it happens directly to them and their families. So until we put some public pressure so that they'll get their act together, until then, I'd say our future is pretty bleak. 